Now, Storm Tracker 9 weather with meteorologist Cameron Landfield. Good morning, everybody. Something you would definitely recognize for this morning. Looking outside is the beautiful sunshine, and that sunrise came early as well. We're still going to continue to trek into earlier and earlier sunrises coming up in the next few weeks, too. By June, we're going to be seeing that pre 530 AM sunshine, so it's going to look a lot like it does right now a little bit earlier. And with that, the sunset even later too, getting close to nine o'clock for sundown. So a lot of time for activities, especially coming up for today and tomorrow. You really want to get out there. It's beautiful. Actually, speaking of such, I'll go ahead and bring up our activity forecast. This is just for noon today. I've went ahead and just picked that point because it is one of the better hours. It's before things start to get a little too sunny. It's a 10 out of 10 there. Check out the temperatures too. We're going to be seeing those mid to high 60s everywhere except for the coast where we're still at 56 and you can see the icon. So can I. The sunshine is completely sunny out at that point. We might have had a little bit of fog this morning, but that doesn't mean that the rest of the day is not absolutely perfect. And Monday, there's literally nothing at all except for sunshine as soon as that sun rises, like I said earlier and earlier as well. So beautiful coming on up here for this long weekend. I don't think you could have it any better. Looking at the hour by hour, check this out. So we're going to be moving up pretty rapidly here over the next couple hours. We're going to see 49 up to 57, so almost 10 degrees in two hours. And then that does continue 61, 11 a.m. noon. Like I said, looking good at that point for things continue to rise and rise 72 degrees at four o'clock. And then we lose a little bit of heat, but there's so much built up that it's not going to be as chilly on Monday morning as it was this morning. Now, of course, it's Sunday. Go ahead and bust the grill out. It's looking fantastic for the hottest time of the day coming up at about four o'clock or so just right in time for that early dinner. If you want to cook up some barbecue looking at the coast 60 degrees and sunshine everywhere 72 for the valley the basin looking particularly good at 76 and even warmer for tomorrow as well. So I'll go ahead and break down for you a little bit about why we're seeing such fantastic conditions coming up moving forward here and why there's a little shift as well. So for today, we've got these zonal winds, which means they come from the west and blow towards the east. And that's essentially just a benign atmosphere. It means nothing really happens. We're not too hot. We're not too cold and we stay relatively moist. We don't completely dry out, but then moving into tomorrow, we see this ridge continue to build and get stronger and stronger. You can see the amplitude does increase, which means high pressure continues to push down and compress that environment, making everything warmer. Look out here though. So that is a low pressure system with some cold air wrapped up in it. You can see it's clearly changing the colors around the area over there. And that actually starts to move in Monday night into Tuesday. So you'll notice on the 70 forecast, there's some rain chances coming up towards the middle of next week because of that, as it slides down here into Tuesday and even Wednesday, that might bring some cool attempts too, but still not too cold. Take a look at the 70 forecast. And you'll see exactly what I'm talking about. So 64 today on the coast, but then we're back down into the 50s as we get into Wednesday with some chances of rainfall coming on up before we recover into the weekend. Umpqua Basin 78 for today, big 80 tomorrow, very, very warm, and then down to about 70 for the low Wednesday with a slight chance of rain in the morning. Cascade passes sunshine two days in a row, 66 by month. Monday, then down to 49. So you can really see that drop coming with the chance of rain, maybe even a little snow in the higher elevations. And for the Willamette Valley, 72 up to 76. We do see slight chances of rain Tuesday, Wednesday, even Thursday before recovering nice and sunny Saturday at 75.